Okay. Um, I, was, I was just interested because I, I asked Treasury the other day, um, you know, given net, net exports is a really important part of GDP, how they factor in uh, these trade deals into their, for, their forward estimates, forecast for economic growth. Um, and they, they said they don't, basically they don't, <coughs> they don't have any information or they don't assume anything for trade deals. And I was, I was actually genuinely interested on whether we, whether you share your, your modelling or your data with Treasury and how we go about using them in forecasts. Well, I think it would be fair to say that the, um, the tariff reductions that Australia implements in our free trade agreements, as well as the market access that we would gain in the other country, um, while they're measurably important to particular industries, and the beef industry has been the prime uh, example of an industry doing modelling on what it sees as the commercial advantages for it, um, from an economy-wide GDP modelling perspective, um, you know, the, pr the parameters wouldn't be significant enough uh, to alter Treasury forecasting in that sense. Okay, so the, even in their entirety, uh, well, what about a large multilateral or plurilateral deal like the TPP? Would that be? Do you think that would be? Well, once again, it would. Um, <clears throat> you know, depends to the extent to which mm. you're uh, reducing tariffs in Australia. I mean, we have such low tariffs now in mm. any case that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the the they're not going to be of that order of magnitude relative to a global financial crisis or an oil shock or hmm. something of that that order of magnitude. Okay.